restrictive pulmonary disorder. So far we are looking about the obstructive pulmonary disorder. Now coming to restrictive pulmonary disorder. Here the patient lung capacity is reduced and it might have pulmonary or extra pulmonary causes. In pulmonary the lung is fibrotic and firm. There is decreased lung capacity. Your FEV1 is low, FEC is low but the ratio is maybe normal because it is FEV1 and FEC are progressively reduced so the ratio can be normal and here the etiology includes interstitial pneumonia, prior lung resection, pulmonary fibrosis, interstitial lung disease secondary to connective tissue disorder. Coming to extra pulmonary lung disease here it might be due to chest wall limitation where your lung cannot expand as happens in kyphoscoliosis, obesity or ankylizing spondylitis or you have a pleural effusion, pleural disease, mesothelioma, pleural effusion or pneumothorax, again your lung cannot expand and you can have neuromuscular disease like your muscular dystrophy, myasthenia graphis and diaphragmatic paralysis, again the lung capacity is reduced. Whenever you have a restrictive pulmonary disease, you look at the symptom or history of a associated disease like kyphoscoliosis, you take a chest radiograph and PFT can also help in establishing the diagnosis. As I said earlier, the FEV1 and FEC are reduced proportionally so that the ratio is usually normal. The preoperative PFT helps to decide whether there is acute or progressive worsening of restrictive lung disease and there might be a risk of pulmonary hypertension which may not be recognized because of overlapping symptoms with restrictive lung disease. For example, the patient might be dyspneic due to restrictive lung disease or hypoxic due to restrictive lung disease. We will be looking at the symptom of restrictive lung disease, but the patient might have a pulmonary hypertension will develop when there is a chronic lung disease. So, you might tend to miss due to the symptoms of restrictive lung disease. Whenever there is a worsening symptom with restrictive lung disease, always echocardiogram is indicated to know the right heart function.